Hi, welcome to Sales 101. Today we'll be looking at chapter 3 of the book, Sales 101, What Everyone Should Know About Sales. And the title of the chapter is All Hail the Queen. We typically talk about the customer being the king, the customer being right, but in my book, I describe the customer as a queen. And the main idea is this. I want you to think about the most important person you want to meet. If you had no limitations as anyone in this world you could meet, who would that person be? Every time I've asked this question in my training seminars or sales 101 dialogues, very, very different answers always come up. Some people say they want to meet Dangote, someone to meet Oprah, someone to meet Dr. Mensa Otabil, Dochihini, Dasantihini, different people. And the question I always pose to them is, if that very important person walks into the room, what will you do? And then the room always lights up. The idea with this chapter is, if the customer is the most important person to our business, how do we relate to them? So when a customer walks into our premises, do we behave as if they're worrying us? Are we irritated by them? Or do we actually make them feel that truly they're the most important person in our business? There's a quote that has been attributed to Mahatma Gandhi. And I talk about that quote in my book. And it's on page 22. Now I say attributed to Mahatma Gandhi because the debate around whether he said it or not. But I'll read out the quotes. And it says, a customer is the most important person on our premises. He's not dependent on us. We are dependent on him. He's not an interruption on our work. He's the purpose of it. He's not an outsider to our business. He's a part of it. We're not doing him a favor by serving him. He's doing us a favor by giving us the opportunity to do so. The chapter actually opens up with a quote by Sam Walton that says, there's only one boss, the customer, and he can fire everybody in the company from the chairman on down simply by spending his money somewhere else. And so I'm going to leave you with a thought. If the most important person in the business is the customer, how do we treat the customer? The customer is queen. The customer is king. The question also comes up quite a lot. Is the customer always right? And my response to that question is an emphatic yes. Because when it comes to the customer being right, especially when it's about customer satisfaction, customer satisfaction always resides in the customer's mind. And so you can't walk into a room and say, the room is cold, and someone else says to you, why is the room cold, or why are you feeling cold? Because you really know how you feel. And so the next time a customer complains, instead of thinking about it as an interruption or as it being frustrating, why not think about it as, good feedback from somebody who is very, very important to your business and take it open-heartedly and try and improve. We'll see you next time.